the aim of the project is uh, uh, to uh, transfer the experience we gained uh, on the field uh, into uh, a capability that is able to support failing or collapsed states in crisis uh, situation, mostly in crisis situation, but also in support of uh, uh, humanitarian uh, uh, emergencies. We need to support uh, the local population with their basic needs to provide a safe and secure environment for the local population by um, countering mostly countering uh, irregular activities and uh, uh, helping the uh, development and government. So we are facing uh, usually what we call predatory crimes. Uh, it's an uh, uh, organized criminal uh, band that are trying to take profit from uh, um, a less controlled area or a less accessible area by violating private property. The worst uh, um, case scenario is when um, criminals um, get together and create an um, armed ban uh, using weapons and threatening uh, the safety of the population. One of the projects we should work mostly with is the new potential biometric recognition of identities. Which kind of challenges, which kind of gaps could be filled by technology? Can we tackle threats, can we tackle future challenges by using drones that would help uh, the identification of criminal uh, organization or criminal identities. Could we use um, biometrical uh, um, tools that could help us track the movement uh, of uh, organized crime or terror? We need to uh, draft the border of the emergency and figure out which are the weak points uh, uh, and where we need to um, stress out uh, our effort. So which kind of tools could be useful to determine the, the weaker area?